FDA's regulations fail to address toxic chemicals in our foods. Shira Dedman is a student in the Food Safety Litigation course in the LLM program in Agriculture and Food Law at the University of Arkansas School of Law. As part of her final assignment, she wrote an essay that appeared in Food Safety News. This is what she had to say. COVID-19 is bringing out the hoarder in all of us. Canned goods, packaged foods, and bottled water are flying off shelves almost as soon as they're stocked. The FDA waylays concerns that fresh produce may carry the virus. It's easier for us to consider food safety in terms of pathogen contamination, such as salmonella and E. coli, or in the present case, COVID-19. What often remains unaddressed are the food safety issues presented by toxic chemicals within the very thing we hope is keeping our food safe in the first place, food packaging. Plastic packaging is ubiquitously used in our food supply systems. Found in bottles, cans, and paperboard, plastics keep food fresh, stable, protect shelf life, keep pests out, and prevent bacterial contamination. Chemicals that can make up these plastics can migrate into food with which it comes into contact. And these chemicals are cause for concern, having been linked to major health issues, including cancer, birth defects, and autism. The FDA regulates chemicals that are used in packaging that come into contact with food as indirect food additives. The FDA exempts a food contact substance with a dietary exposure of less than 0.5 ppb, or if it's already cleared for use as a direct additive. Exposure from the food contact use must be less than 1% of the accepted daily intake. Here's the problem according to Dedman. The migration standard does not account for bioaccumulation of chemicals that are found in multiple products within a person's diet. And many of the health issues associated with food additives typically happen when people are continuously exposed to small amounts of these over long periods of time. There are currently three classification of chemicals that are found in food packaging that has gained widespread attention. Phthalates, BPA, and PFAS. Phthalates can disrupt hormones and have been linked to genital birth defects in infant boys and learning and behavior problems in older children and have been found to be linked to cancer. Considered a safe indirect food additive by the FDA, BPA is found in soda and food cans and is known as an endocrine disruptor. It can act like estrogen in our bodies and potentially change the timing of puberty, decrease fertility, increase body fat, and affect the nervous and immune systems. It's also connected with childhood obesity and heart disease. PFAS are known as forever chemicals. Some PFAS persist in the environment and in our bodies. It's approved for use on paper or cardboard to prevent grease from going through them. These include microwave popcorn bags, pizza boxes, fast food wrappers, and even compostable food containers. They've been linked to a variety of health issues, including cancers, reproductive problems, lower immunity, tetanus and diphtheria vaccinations, high cholesterol, thyroid function, and liver injury. Isn't it time for the FDA to wake up and legislate change?